hey guys welcome to the very first video of this tutorial series wherein we'll be learning java along with the dsa so myself aniket i'll be i'll be your instructor throughout this course where we where we'll be learning java programming language starting from the basics to the core java concepts and along after that we will dive deep into the data structures and algorithms uh, using and we will try to implement that using java programming language so first of all starting with the introduction you would ask me to who, which person can take this course so i would say uh, anyone which who wants to learn the java programming language right from the beginning till the advanced data structures can take this course okay so in this video we'll be talking about the installation part which are which softwares are required you to run the java program inside your pc so start let's let's get started open your chrome and head over to the chrome and just type download jdk and search you'll be seeing first link which is of your oracle one and just go there and according to your os whether you are using mac os linux or linux or windows just to choose your windows os and according to your uh, installer just click on this and this will get downloaded in your system I have already downloaded it so I don't download it again or oh, I will pause it okay and the next thing you will require is IDE so what is IDE basically IDE is an environment where you code uh, your Java Java programs and basically what is the difference between an IDE and notepad you can also code in the notepad but the better way of uh, the better way of using the IDE is you can get uh, auto suggestion of those code snippets and uh, and there's uh, in auto indentation is there in the inside the ID so I suggest one of the best ID to code the Java programs is IntelliJ idea so you just go into your browser and type download IntelliJ idea so first link comes of JetBrains who are the developer of this ID go there and click on this community edition community edition because don't download the ultimate edition you will be charged after the 30 days free trial so you so you want the free trial so go here and download the exe file or zip file whatever you want I suggest to download exe file click on the download and after two to three seconds your download will get started I have also downloaded this files so I don't download it again okay after downloading this file you just go there inside the full downloads folder and click on the JDK file double click on it it will ask for the permission click yes okay click next then keep the path as default okay so wait here the JDK will get installed in your PC simultaneously I will also install a IntelliJ idea okay wait allow here so it was saying the current uh, IntelliJ community edition is already installed so I have already installed it so you just follow the, all the steps which uh, just you need to click next 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 and IntelliJ idea will get installed in your PC okay so here you can see uh, my JDK is also get down installed in my PC just close here and you need to go to the path which which you have given uh, at the time of the JDK installation so here I given the path inside my java folder I have JDK file and you just go inside the bin folder and just click here and copy the path I am again repeating just go to that path where you have installed the JDK and inside the JDK folder you have bin folder just click here and copy this path and and go to your start and type edit and you will be seeing edit the system variables here just click on it and click here edit environment and inside the user variable for the user just go here and click on the path and click edit and you will be seeing here new button new, click on this and just paste that path and click enter okay so, and click 
okay and again okay and okay so till now you have successfully installed all the softwares which are required you to run the java programs inside your pc okay to test it out uh, whether you, whether all this uh, installation part is get succeed successfully installed just press the windows r but as button on a keyboard and type cmd here and enter and just type java minus minus version and after hitting enter you will be seeing the current java version which is installed in a pc and jdk version which, which is also installed in, in your pc okay so till now we have seen the introduction and installation part which are required for you to run a java program in your inside your pc okay uh, so after that you have also i am assuming that you have also installed intellij idea in your pc just click here open your open your ide it will take some time according to the system configuration of your laptop or pc okay just wait here I'll be seeing just okay. Wait. Okay, name and name the project whichever you want. I will be giving hello and I'll be clicking clicking on the next. Okay, after creating a new project inside IntelliJ IDEA, the this window get pop up and inside source you can see the main file is there. Okay, so this is the basic code that IntelliJ idea will provide you okay and after inside this you can code whatever you want in java programming language so till now i hope all the all of you have installed all, all the required softwares and and till now you are rich at this point where you will be will be starting to code inside ide so one more thing is there uh, i'll be uh, planning to give you some uh, extra questions code like coding questions i'll be uh, like for example i'll be covering variables and data types and then uh, again in the uh, next question next video i'll be giving you the problems on some coding questions uh, regarding that concepts which i have taught you in the previous videos uh, so i expect expect you to answer those questions inside uh, comment comment box of that video and i'll be reviewing your comments in the upcoming videos and we'll be talking some uh, which are which solutions is best which solution is wrong so i'll be thinking like that so i hope uh, you enjoy this video and uh, install all the softwares which are required 